What's going on guys, Hot Sauce Z here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to go over the button I use on my stream deck that I use to capture all of my content. If you guys have seen any of my shorts on here, if you've seen my TikToks, clips on Twitter, clips on Instagram, any clips that I have, have come from pressing this button on my stream deck. So I wanted to make a little tutorial on how I set it up um, so you guys can do the same thing if you're looking for an easy way to capture clips. Um, this works in conjunction with the replay buffer video that I talked about yesterday. That's how I capture all my clips and this is just an easier way to do it than pressing the hotkey. And it also serves a couple different functions. So stick around, I'll show you how to do it. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like and also consider subscribing to the channel. We're looking to reach that goal of a thousand subscribers on this channel for the first time. So I hope you guys can help me reach that if you find this sort of stuff useful. But anyways, let's get into it, here we go. Let me switch on over to the desktop here and we'll go ahead and maximize this software. This is the Elgato Stream Deck software if you guys are not familiar with this. Um, you should be if you use a Stream Deck because this is how you set it up. But anyways, this is my streams profile essentially. Um, I'll flip back and forth between this and this is just like my home stream on. I haven't really worked on it in a while. I don't use it very much. This this is my streams one though. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the in all caps content button here. Uh, this is what I was talking about. This is what I use literally all of the time to gather every single one of my clips and we'll go through all the different um, functions within this button. If you guys are interested in any of these other folders, um, other things I've got set up, then just let me know down in the comments um, if you see another one that you'd like me to talk about. Uh, but for today, we're gonna stick to this content button. So in order to set this up, what this is actually is a multi-action button and you find that within the Stream Deck category over here and it's just a multi-action. So you would drag that over and you would set that up and you would label it accordingly. That would, be, that would be step number one. Then you come in here and let me show you the different components I have in this button and we'll talk about what each one of them, what they do and uh, how, how they uh, kind of streamline the process of content creation a little bit more. The very first thing I have in here is a create stream marker function from the Twitch category over here. You have a create stream marker, you would drag this in here. Um, that's the very first thing I have. And the reason I, have this function in particular in here is if any of these other three functions fail. Um, that way I know I can go back into my Twitch VOD, I can go into my video editor on my Twitch dashboard, and I can go find that stream marker and I can still find that clip without having to scrub through hours of footage. This is more of an efficiency and a time saving redundancy right here. I mean, redundancy, 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 just to make sure that you're being efficient. Usually like redundancy and efficiency don't, don't go together, but in this instance they do. This is just a backup, so to speak. This is just to make sure that I don't lose whatever clip I really wanted to save. Um, you know, last ditch effort, I can go in and I can save it off the VOD. But anyways, that's what happens first. That saves directly to your Twitch VOD, your video there on Twitch. The next button I have is a system hotkey. So you would set that up by coming over here, you would find the system category, and then you would find the hotkey and you would drag it in. And then of course, title it whatever. This one in particular is that replay buffer that I was talking about yesterday on OBS. So once it drops in the stream marker on the stream itself, then the next function that this one button does is it uh, saves that replay buffer on OBS with that hotkey that I set up for the uh, to capture the uh, OBS replay buffer. And I talked about that in the last video as well. This is just working in conjunction with that last video. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go give that a look. But uh, yeah, so that will save pretty much the last, whatever duration you set in OBS Studio for your replay buffer, just by pressing this one button, the second function in it will save that video to wherever you set the output directory. And then we finally have a third variation, and uh, this is one that I haven't been using recently, um, but this is the hotkey I have saved for NVIDIA Shadowplay since I have a NVIDIA GeForce card. Um, and it saves, the, the reason I still use this one, um, if I do use it, you know, is just to have gameplay footage and perhaps gameplay audio without my webcam over it. Um, that's, that's a little bit of a flaw with the replay buffer. I wish you could set up on the replay buffer um, sources or scenes that you wanted to exclude from that. That would be very, very cool. Hopefully OBS adds something like that in the future. But 
until then, I still sometimes save my uh, my shadow plays, um, the instant replay on there, and you can set all that up in in shadow play and tweak it pretty much to be very very similar to your OBS replay buffer. But that's why I do that, just in case I don't want the webcam or whatever. And it's also in case this one, you know, maybe this file gets corrupted, maybe OBS, you know, screws up or something. Again, it's another redundancy, another backup to have that clip, just to make sure I really don't miss those key moments that I want to save on the stream. This final one in here, I actually think we're going to delete live on this video because I don't use this anymore. So I think we're going to get rid of this one, um, but I'll go ahead and explain it while we're here. This one was yet another hotkey, um, and it loaded the replay that I had last saved. Um, back when I was trying to do like instant replay, kind of like a neat thing on stream um, where I would save a clip and then it would play it back for the audience. Um, my computer is not really strong enough to do that since I'm doing a single PC stream. Um, so we're actually going to take this one off because I haven't used this in forever. This is more of an experimental thing. So we'll go ahead and remove that one. Don't worry about that. If you do want to set up an instant replay, um, I can try and set up a guide on that. But there are some other ones available on YouTube if you just search how to set that kind of thing up for your stream. I would really recommend doing that if you have a dual PC stream, um, unless your PC is just like a tank. Trying to play a game, record in two different places, mind you, and then also play an instant replay while streaming, is uh, that's very, very demanding. So... We're not going to cover that in this video, but yeah, this is uh, essentially what this button is. It's very, very easy. It's, what it does is it, instead of me having to go control F10, alt F10, and then also pull up a browser and drop a stream marker or, you know, whatever, pull up the, the quick action on the Twitch dashboard. I don't have to go over there and click that. All I have to do is simply press one button on the stream deck and then all three of those actions are done. Super, super handy, super convenient. And like I said, I use this for literally every single one of my clips um, while I'm streaming live. If I if I get a good kill streak, if I uh, you know have a good bit of commentary about something that's happening within the community or within a you know within a game, a game's life cycle, that kind of thing, just anything that I want to clip. <clears throat> super, super easy. Just to press content and have that ready to go. So you would set that up and then you just, uh, yeah, you could put a little picture on there if you wanted, title everything, whatever you want. But uh, it's pretty much just one press of a button and you are good to go. You can use that as many times as you want while you're streaming or even while you're not streaming. Just uh, if you're not streaming, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, be sure to go ahead and start that replay buffer if you're doing a gameplay session without streaming. But yeah, anyways, I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys can uh, get some good use out of this content button, as I call it, um, the content harvesting button. Um, and me, go a lo we go a long way back. So anyways, hope this video was helpful. I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Have a good rest of your day.